Take from the North Pole, but he's lacking one big thing here. What? Snow. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I wonder where he had to land with the sleigh. Maybe in the grass <laughs> or, yeah. or on probably, your rooftop. Yeah, probably <laughs> probably the rooftops. Hopefully they didn't rip off the shingles because there's no snow that we've seen so far. But we are going to be seeing some of it as we head into tomorrow. But not everyone's going to be seeing accumulation. We'll talk about that momentarily. Right now outside 38 degrees. Feels like 29 with a breezy northeast wind at 15 miles per hour. We're holding on a lot of our temperatures right now are probably close to our afternoon highs. We're not going to be seeing much of a warm up besides this uh, mid and upper 30s. A breezy wind coming in out of the northeast. We had a cold front that moved in, so some colder air wrapping in behind that frontal boundary, setting up the stages for an upcoming uh, winter storm. Here are the winds coming in at about 15 miles per hour. Cloudy skies have moved in as that frontal boundary moved through and zooming farther out. You're starting to see some precipitation developing over parts of Iowa. A farther zoom out shows this area of low pressures that are starting to combine together and eventually will make its way up towards the northeast. Right now, there's been a little bit of fluctuation with the track of the storm. Late last night, there were some models shifting the snow a little bit farther northward, which would impact more of us. Now they've kind of backed off a little bit, going back to the original track, and we're starting to see more of a concise pattern. Here's where those winter weather advisories are extending from Nebraska through southern Wisconsin and then into Michigan. It looks like the storm will intensify enough by the time it gets there where it looks like some folks will be dealing with over a half foot of snowfall. Closer to home, Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, Manitowoc, and Calumet counties are under this winter weather advisory. Starts at midnight and continues until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. So we can be expecting about 2 to as much as 5 inches of snowfall in some of the heaviest hit areas. Also, with the breezy winds coming in onshore, We'll be causing some blowing and drifting, so not the easiest day to be out on the roads when the heaviest of the snow is coming down. Let's show what Skycast is showing as we get into the morning hours tomorrow, and even right at midnight, we'll start to see some of the snow lift up to the north. The northern extent of the snow will be probably right around Watoma through Green Bay and Sturgeon Bay, and then dry air will intrude from the north, so that's going to keep the snow from going even farther northward, so closer down to the southeast towards Sheboygan County has a better chance of accumulation. By Sunday, the system's out of here. Here we are about two to four inches. Some locations farther towards southern Fond du Lac, Sheboygan could pick up a little bit higher and look how much the snowfall really tapers off farther towards the north. Also on top of that, we've got Lakeshore flood advisories for southern Nicanto, Brown County, and then a Lakeshore flood warning for Sheboygan County. Gusty winds are going to pick up later on tonight and continue into tomorrow. So that's going to cause some lakeshore flooding and also a little bit of beach erosion. So you might want to hold on to those hats. As you get into today, high temperature about 37, similar to what we're seeing right now. We're not going to warm up much. Gusty winds upwards of 25 miles per hour. Tonight will drop down to 31 with gusty winds upwards of 30 miles per hour. And then tomorrow it'll be even more windy. Gusts upwards of 35 to perhaps even 40 miles per hour, especially along the lakeshore with that snow developing and shifting down to the southeast. 32 on Sunday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies. Looks like the sun does return on Monday. And then we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures, yeah, they have cooled off since uh, yesterday's high of uh, in the 50s once again, Abby. So mm -hmm. were you able to enjoy any of that? Oh, yes. I went out. Oh. For a walk outside, as most people might have done. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to maybe getting a little bit of snow for that holiday spirit. It will feel nice. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Dean. And up next, the biggest TV.